Amish. Don't put it through. You're gonna get this shit done. You don't want me to get those dangerous. I'm not crying. The castle is to be born. I'm not dying. I'm gonna make it. Which camera am I supposed to be looking at? Okay, the, the, okay. Hi, I'm Amish and I'm a second year medical student. I'm supposed to be recording this because I've been told that I'm supposed to be doing this interview after every studying session. I have my anatomy exam. This is anatomy final exam and this is the main exam for anatomy. It includes everything I've learned in anatomy from the hands to the head, everything. So I'm sitting there on 18th of October and I'm looking at the dates and I'm like, okay, let's see which date to pick. Okay, so there are multiple dates, date and week one of exam season, then spans to like week seven of exam season. And I was like, I can't take a date which is too late. So the option was second date or third. 13th December was the one I actually finalized in the end. The clock hit 8 and it was time for me to actually go and press the date I wanted, which was 30th of December 2024. First date. Initially, I did not plan to get the first date, but I got the first date because everything got filled. My plan was getting 30th December, but I got, I got 18th December. The only two dates that were left was either the very first date or the very last date. This, there's no more jokes now. Uh, 30th December, the date I wanted, it was a want. It wasn't a need. I think Hamish has gone through worse shit than this. I'm not crying. I'm not dying. We're gonna get this shit done. I'm on a couch now. I have biochem on 20th October. On 4th November, I have my physio SAT. Then I have a two week gap. And then I have physio SAT again. And then I have biochem exam. And then I have physio lab exam. Then I have Hungarian plus anatomy ID on the same day. And then the very next week, I have anatomy final exam. So, because it's medical school, these subjects will require me to study. It's not just gonna take one day to study all these subjects. So, like, you can minus two, three days. I need to pull an all nighter, like, all night. Like for these two months now because there is no time anymore between those two physio SATs is the only chance i have to making it out alive from this exam if i mess anything up within those two weeks that's it i'm going home and it'll be the end of my journey i know it's a date i did not want and it's a very early date but that doesn't mean i will give up the odds are not really in my favor but the odds have never been in my favor <laughs> Now, the entire thing is just a mess. It's a game of cat and mouse, you know? It never ends. It is so sad because you don't understand how hard this exam is. Like, this is the hardest exam ever. You know, one time I asked this one person, what does a car painter do? And that person said, paints cars. I was really motivated doing the entire thing because I really love things like this that happen to me in my life. It's it's fun because it's just a game, like who cares? During all this, I was just excited. I was happy that I was going to what I was doing because I think confidence is key and you have to keep it, keep a straight face going into that exam because if you don't, then you're done for before the exam even begins. And then shit started to hit the fan. Sometimes things don't turn out. And this is that time with nine days left and time is running out there is no more time basically because nine days is not enough to do anything i really do believe that i was built to do medicine i i i think i was constructed to be dealing with things and situations like the one i'm put in right now because I've, do I've done this before i've done this multiple times it's not about if you want it it's about how bad you want it and i know how bad i want it sweetie and I will get what I want. The show must go on. At all costs, the castle is to be stored. Study for the biochemistry and then moving straight after that biochemistry to, to study for anatomy again and then only spending two days for anatomy because the very next week I have physiocity. Then start studying for the physiocity or else I'll fail the physiocity and then it'll just be like... And you can't fail any of these subjects by the way because if you fail any of them, there will be consequences which I do not want to get into in this video but I'll just all come crumbling down you know your world will collapse i managed to not fail any of those subjects i managed to exempt both of the subjects and leaving me only with anatomy for the exam season which was a really good thing so after my physio lab exam got over and i had the anatomy id the very next day in hungarian i realized at that time that it was impossible 
16 December. I have two days left for my anatomy final exam for which I've been studying back to back. I don't know how this exam is gonna go. Basically, there's no point in studying anymore because you can't cover the amount of portion you need to cover and the amount of days I have left, which is two days. I need sleep in my system, in my brain, to be honest. My cranium, my neurocranium, my cerebrum, my cerebellum, all of it needs sleep right now. I don't know what tract is responsible for sleep, by the way. Like the last three days, I believe, I was like studying for entertainment at that point because I realized that this is impossible. Oh my God, my hands are shaking because I'm drinking this cold coffee. So my exam day comes. This is it, everything is over. I look so bad, but do you think I care? I don't give two shits anymore. Like. Please, I just want to pass this exam. Like once I pass this exam, I'm out of this country. <sighs> Self trust. I've studied. I hope I remember shit. I'll be fine. I don't really care. This is it. This is the exam. When I was walking towards the university, where the exam was going to take place, the castle is to be sieged. The castle is to be stormed. Sam. <sighs> so scared for the exam at that point i was not even devising anything because i was like what's the point say something i wrote you can't outwork ahmesh i wrote give him a stage and he'll put on a show what show i am the circus i am the clown this is so funny it's so creepy i'm just recording myself what's the point of revising now because like it's all for entertainment at this point because i didn't see the point because there were things i did not know and I was like, ah, what's the point? So I just didn't devise anything, but I did go through his one while I was just sitting outside because I'm like, I need to go through some of the basics so I can show the examiners that I know my shit and I can connect shit and I can connect anatomy to his and his to embryo and anatomy to an embryo, all that. Yeah. I've done with embryo and his The embryo ID, I passed that. Histo ID, I passed that. Histo quiz. Now it's time for histo actual exam for me. It's gonna be so bad. It's so scary. I went to do the histo oral exam, which is the, the, the hard part. I got the spinal cord and I got the lung. And that's the spinal cord, by the way. The pink thing you see that I like. This one is the spinal cord. I'm happy the teacher let me talk and let me have the control of the exam rather than the teacher herself because with my slide, I opened my slide and then she was like, okay, you can start now. And then I just started yapping. I started yapping for like 30 minutes and I did not stop. I mentioned anatomy, I mentioned histo, I mentioned embryo, mentioned some clinical tests. And I mentioned so much extra information I learned during my studies because I'm like, this is the only chance I get and I need to show her that I know my shit and I deserve to qualify to go to the next stage of the exam and I was able to prove that to her using my knowledge and it was really nice because she was really proud and she gave me a five for that anatomy is left, anatomy will be fine this was the hardest part let's see how that goes, I'm so scared please get a good topic in like anatomy too I think oh my god, I had to talk so much but I really got, like, it was, it was good I talked about the shit I knew, I was playing against my or anything related to the rehearsal and I did get related to that the last history exam I did Let's not be overconfident. I'm playing from this class. That's the history of the weather. I look like a mess, but it's okay. Now next was anatomy ID exam, which was for upper limb and lower limb. Lower limb. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. So that was okay. It was okay. Like, the, the, the teacher gave me time to, like, ID the structures. Like, ID from ID, I mean, identify the structures. So, like, I was identifying the structures that she was telling me to identify. And that was good. I passed that. Then I moved on to the very last part of the exam, which was anatomy. But making it to anatomy, I knew I have to give whatever it takes now to pass that exam because strong, like I am better at anatomy than histo. And I got the examiner, and then the exam started to take place. And I was mentioning everything I knew. I got the parotid region, so the parotid gland, and all that I mentioned. I mentioned the nerves passing through it, which don't innervate the gland, but innervate something else in the nerves that innervate the gland. Because I wanted to show that I went in depth when I was studying all that and I didn't just show up to the exam in order to pass, in order to fail because some people just went to the exam to fail to get another date. So basically, yeah, I, I tried my best and I explained extra information which he didn't even ask for just to show that I know my shit. So in total, he gave me five and then the last one, like, I messed up a little so I didn't really get a five in that one. So in total, my grade was a four out of five in the entire anatomy three course. But yeah, so I passed that exam and now I'm done with that and with Maria Pathology, which is for next year. So I'll see you then.
Hopefully I do not get the first date for that one and I do not have not put in the same circumstances like this one. Let's see how the next exam season plays. Until next time. 30 December is the date I wanted. It was a want. It wasn't a need. You wish you could have Amish can pull it through. Amish has gone through worse shit than this. I'm not crying. I'm not dying. I'm gonna make it.